How did I get from that to this? I got landscaping. down probably 250 of these tufts just randomly putting them you could see them kind of in here along the track you know they add a little bit down here some yellow ones the green ones in the corner I don't know if it's worth it. It looks like it adds a little bit to it. Something you just uh, make a sheet of, and they, he says the the more you put on there, the better. I mean, they even kind of stick out there on the uh, patches of the yellow. Yeah, put a few over in here. I could probably use another three to five hundred of them probably pretty easy because they just they look good just kind of stuck in there yeah continuing on with this landscaping as you can see I've uh, put some more material on here and uh, again I'm not the guy that uh, you need to be using as a reference for this I uh, actually went and uh, took snapshots off from the internet of Luke Towan and uh, I'll put uh, right there I'll put a link to his stuff up there but I just took some snapshots of what his stuff looked like and how he used it although I did use the other fellows uh, from Sweden his method of putting down the grass then it goes into uh, this Luke Talon guy, how he uses some of this clump foliage and uh, blended turf and this medium coarse turf. And I just broke out all the stuff that they gave me with the kit. And although I didn't use that as my basic grass, it does come in pretty handy. What I did was, and, and uh, I just took some of the this, they gave me two big bags of this stuff. So I figured they wanted a lot on there. But after I started putting this uh, dark green clump foliage and medium green clump foliage on there, it just looked too much. So I just put sparsely put some of those bushes around the bigger stuff. The bigger stuff around. And then I grabbed this medium green coarse turf. This stuff is actually pretty good. It sets in this grass pretty nice. You can't go wrong with putting this stuff on anywhere. I'll uh, give you an idea here. I mean, look, I just, I'll just put a little clump here. Uh, you, you can't go wrong. It, now, do I, do I have enough of this stuff down? I don't know. What I'm gonna, you know, I actually, I'm gonna have to go to that spray method that Luke Talon has to get all this stuff down. I can, you know, you can manipulate this stuff and move it around where you want it. And and once you get it how you like it and all, then you just leave it set loose. But then he goes in and he sprays, but he, you know, he's only doing a little square thing, a little diorama. This is a whole, whole different ball game. This is four foot by eight foot. So what I'm gonna do is I got my alcohol bottle over there and my Mod Podge mat and mixture getting ready to go in a little bit. As soon as I get this thing looking like I do, but I'm not gonna sacrifice my track. I've learned, I've learned my lesson, I believe. So before I get going, I am gonna tape this whole track off before I spray this down and uh, 
put a layer of uh, spray Mod Podge on this thing to hold all these little gizmos down to the ground. A couple of things I did that this, you can see, this is the hilltop on the back side. And a couple of things, I left this alone just to show you guys this. When this stuff starts looking like this, it doesn't look natural. I just took a brush and uh, I would kind of blend it, blend it back into the grass a little bit, knock some of it down a little bit until it looked good. And then uh, sometimes too much is too much, you know. You know, you put it on there and then you kind of clean it up. And uh, what I used the brush for is to kind of knock down some of these darker areas that I thought was a little much. And it makes them blend in just a little bit better. <sighs> The other thing was these these really dark 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 green ones didn't look real natural and what he showed is he took some burnt earth is what he was calling it this here is just a green blend and i just to knock down some of that bluish greenish stuff i just kind of sprinkled just sprinkled a little bit of this around it and he was talking about hue and and some other stuff i don't know what all that is i'm just i just is it correct <laughs> i don't know it knocks some of this it knocks some of the harshness off from it when you and you put a little bit of that on there i don't know it it seemed to me so i was just going around and kind of knocking some of the some of the blue off of this and yeah you can't hurt it i mean mother nature makes this stuff uh she don't put this much thought into it you know and there's a whole bunch of colors out here one thing i did that i thought was pretty interesting when all this stuff was falling down here i just I just brushed it up in there and you know what that's where it's gonna that's where it's gonna stay i also noticed that in a couple other areas like if i wanted some greenery down along this track i would just brush it to where it kind of looked natural and get it off the track i ain't cleaning that up i'm gonna glue that right in those Grew that right into place here. I probably don't want a whole lot in there. But, and the good thing is, is I'll take the vacuum cleaner to it if it seems too much. If it seems to be too much, spread it out. Hit the vacuum cleaner on it. I just don't want to glue it on the track. <laughs> so, which is the problem. Okay, let me get playing on it some more. Okay, I've got all the material down here. All this all this stuff is just loose in place. All these bushes, all this material here, that's all just loose. I got it looking like I wanna want it to look. I got the track taped off. Everything else can be glued using that Luke Talon's method. I can't tip this thing upside down or vacuum it all off and I can't randomly just spray alcohol and glue solution. I have to get it the way I want it to look. Then I have to clean. Then I have to clean off the uh, all the areas that I don't want stuck. Mostly around these rocks because I don't care if it if it gets around most of this other stuff, I just don't want it permanently glued to the rocks. Anything that I don't want uh, permanent. And, uh, and then, then I'm gonna hit it with the alcohol and uh, then the glue. 
let's mix that stuff up okay that's uh that's four ounces of glue 12 ounces of water we'll get a little soap we have a couple of drops on three to one but i made i'm just gonna give it a couple little squirts a little bit more it can hurt none Well, I'm gonna show you this area, just this area right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and just do the rest of it. I did a test over there and it seems to work pretty good. Gonna have to find you some good mixer, some good sprayer bottles because if it sprays, if it sprays too heavy, then it uh, will move all your stuff around. Just gotta spray it lightly. And if you don't spray this alcohol down first, I've found, that it just moves your glue just hits the uh, areas and uh, runs off this alcohol breaks the tension and uh, then this little bottle I found on Amazon I don't know what it's is but it's with a three to one mix it sprays pretty good it's still a little a little thick and I'm just gonna wet it down everything kind of stays in place now how much glue to put on here I don't know I'm trying to get a lot in these bushes to get it to to hopefully run down through the bush and attach itself. To the scenery. If not, you know, I'll have to come back like everything else. I'm I'll just have to do it over again. But I think I think it this is how he did it, so I glue some of my bushes down. Now the glue isn't running, but I can see it down in there. So how much did I put down there? I don't know, whatever makes you, whatever makes you feel happy. Okay, now I gotta do that to the rest of that. I've done cleaned all the, the stream and I got all the extra material off that I want. And one thing I did do is I put the gravel on the road. So I did not glue that gravel down first. I'm gonna try to just hit it with the this stuff and make it work that way be a little easier I got this whole thing sprayed down and uh, it looks like it'll hold so what I'm gonna do I think I had about I don't know I may have two four ounces or so of this glue left so I'm gonna take my little uh, my little uh, eyedropper here and on these bigger bushes, just to make sure that they attach, I'm going to soak them because I don't want them coming back up unless I want to have them back up. So that's what I'm going to do with the rest of this glue. Then I'm going to let it sand, put a fan on it, let it set here today, and hopefully it gets warm enough to dry this thing up. All done. Pulling all this tape up before it dries hard. What a mess. What a mess. It'll be done soon. You won't have to worry about it no more. Okay, got the old fan on her. And uh, I see I got some touch up on these rows to do where the tape pulled it up, but that's all right. Everything else is looking pretty good. It's all wet with glue. We'll let it set here and dry today. We'll come back and get a finished look at this thing.